All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing a vain top lane versus AJs. And for the runes, we now have fleets. We got presence, alacrity, cut down. We got biscuit delivery, and then also the cosmic inside. Now, today we have a really nice matchup, man. Could be a little bit bad, but however, we're going to do fine here. So, vain versus Jace, the way how you want to play it out is you want to slow push it try and get the level two first so you can avoid the all-in from jace now the plan we have to skim to make the matchup as easy as possible is we are going for the trinity build so typically when i play vein top i always go for the play build but when you run into a matchup like jace or anything that has a lot of burst and you have to short trade a lot uh you can just go for trinity and then afterwards you can go hurricane now, just as we're getting to the game, uh, my apologies if I sound a little bit weird than normally, because I'm very, very sick at the moment. I've had a pretty big fever, and I'm trying to pull through and still make a video, so just so you guys know. All right, let's get the slow push. So we will get to level three first. Nice. Could be going for a trade here, since I can probably get a stun off. However, I have a choice to make here. We can go for the cannon, and then we can go for it. Yep. Walk away. Nice. Let's place a... Uh, we can't, actually. We just place a ward down. All right, let's push this out. So, we just place a ward down for a really good trade. But that does come with a problem that we can actually get ganked by Nocturne. So, what I'm going to do is... We slow push this under tower. And then we instantly go back after. Alright. Nice, let's go back here. Actually, hold on a second. If this guy is going to stay around forward, then I can also stay because I got Ivern around topside currently. Yep, Ivern's coming for a gank here, so I'm gonna drop him off into his direction. And we also walk away so we don't get hit by the combo. Let's get that slow push. Actually, not a slow push. We need to hard shove this out. So this guy is running uh, teleport currently. I don't think I need to ask my jungle for any help. Because by the time, if we get ganked, I can just run off. But Nocturne's going to leave me, so I don't have to worry about that right now. Nocturne's coming my direction, so we're not we're not safe. Okay, let's head back right here. Okay, so the first item that I always recommend to people, uh, doesn't matter what matchup it is that you're running into, you're going to go for Berserk Screes all the time. It doesn't matter what matchup it is. Um, there's maybe like a few exceptions to certain matchups, but in general, this is what you want to do, like 95%. The first thing we're going to do now is if we can get a reset, we are probably going to either go for two things. We can go into the Shin for the short trades, or we can go into this one for the HP, the damage, and the movement speed. I think I might choose to do that actually instead of Shin, because Shin is more risky. Let's get a slow push. It's very likely we will hit the level 6 first. Let's place a war down so I can see precisely what he does. Okay, we don't get the last of these ones. Dodge the Q from Chase. Remember the Nocturne Ultimate. <clears throat> Nice. And he actually just hit level 6 first before I did, but that's a, that's actually okay with me. Now, the difference between me as well as Chase is that he runs Conquer when I'm running Fleet. And the difference in that is that, in general, his combo is going to be stronger than mine. Which is obvious, like, he also has a better short strike. Now, we are running Fleet. That means that... We can position better, but we also have sustain. And that makes a pretty big difference. 
Okay, this is going to be a very risky fight. Uh, could have been more clean. I was trying to do like an auto and instant E afterwards. But as it turned out, I was a little bit too slow with my E, but that's fine. Man, as I'm doing this commentary, it is so unbelievably hard. Like, uh, my worst fear, you know, for a person doing, uh, doing videos and stuff you know, as a full-time thing for many years already. I've, I always feared one thing, and that is when I get very sick. It is so hard. I, I'm like a very dedicated person. I never miss a single video. And I can't just like do nothing right for like an entire week. It is so hard to like be sick and also talk into a microphone. It's the most challenging thing I've ever done. <laughs> so just so you guys know, I have to say that real quick. It is very difficult. Let's go for the movement speed as well as the HP and damage. And we go for two pots here and then we walk back. Now, what we can try and do... I'm going to ask my jungler if he can maybe hold top lane from me. But I don't think that's possible. Because he would have moved immediately. Oh, he's going for the camp. So I think I may have to ignore the wave. Okay, we don't have to because he already took the camp. Okay, we, we're going to be looking for a short trade. So the only job we have to do is to try and get him low. That's the only thing we have to do. If we can, like, uh, get him low to around, I would say, 80%. Maybe 70%. Maybe even 90%. If we can get him low enough, and we can, like, tank up one combo from Jace, that's all it takes. It's his, his combo does has a fair amount of cooldown to it. <clears throat> and also, worth noting, they also have a Nocturne uh, in their jungle, which means that he can press R anytime he wants. Also, what we can try to do is the second that Jace it like drops down a combo, I can just all in immediately. That's an idea I got as well. Yep. And we pretty much got him. There you go. Now let's shove this in like we always do. Very nice. And then we pick up the next wave too, and then we head back after. An ally has been slain. Nice. Okay, so now things will get a really like a little bit more interesting. Because now we currently already have my uh, HP, my AD. We've got the movement speed from the item. So Beware. what we can do right now is we can go Shin. And what that does is uh, Sheen is going to work really well with my Q. And um, we can now also rely on the short trades. So we no longer uh, only rely on all inning, right? Because that's where our weak weakness was at. Uh, Jay's uh, short trades are better than mine. But now that I have the this item for HP and everything, I also have Sheen. I can now just Q in and do a lot of damage. <clears throat> so now things will become a little bit more fun. <coughs> Alright. And hopefully I don't want the play to go away. Let's pick up the wave here. I pass the judgment. Oh, I missed that one, but that's okay. If he drops the combo down again, I can actually all in him. It's about getting the perfect all in off at the perfect timing. That's all I have to do. Okay. Yeah, let's get some cooldown right now. So now I can actually all in. Yep. And 
I think that we pretty much got him. No, we actually don't. But it's okay if he lives. Like, that's fine. We can still shove the wave in. <clears throat> and then, hopefully, around now is the time when we can get some plates. Oh, he's already back, so he teleported. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's go into Longsword. So yeah, we're just gonna go for some raw damage. I don't care about the attack speed necessarily right now. Uh, turns out, when you look at builds and stuff, he is going for a full ability haste setup. Now that means that he's going to short trade a lot. Uh, he's got his abilities back up real fast now because he already has both. Now, he actually went for lucidity, which is good for me because it means that he takes a longer time to get his first item. <clears throat> I have no ultimate, so he's probably as good as dead. Yeah, he's as good as dead. Nice. I'm still moving up there because I think that we can probably beat them. Wait a second, um, we don't have more people, so we can't do that. Okay, it's fine. It is okay. It happens. They were successful this time. At least the Jace uh, is very likely... Okay, he's not losing the farm anymore, because apparently he's overstaying now. Okay, the wave is now pushing into my direction, which is insanely good. I got him for that. So, Chase had a choice. And ultimately only one. If he went back, he'd be safe, he could buy items, but he would lose the full wave until the end of time. But if he stays, uh, he will get the farm, but I will always beat him for as long as he doesn't back. So, at the end, I win. I win no matter what. And that's why I let the wave push into me. I will always win in that scenario, whatever he chooses. Okay, let's go back here. We are going to go for Trinity. And then the next item we go after is probably Hurricane. Now, I have a reason why I go Hurricane this game. And that is because um, when you play Vayne top, and I'm saying this not for Vayne only, but I'm saying this for plenty of ADCs in top, uh, Wave clear is a thing that matters a lot because if you have a lot of wave clear, you can actually split push better. You can apply more pressure from the side lanes. In this game is no different from that. Uh, Vayne needs a lot of wave clear, and that's uh, so we can pressure this guy, but also we can farm twice as quickly. And since we're playing a scaling champ on top of a, good, a great laning phase, Hurricane basically makes that back for me. Let's try. Now, of course, we can still go for Blade of the Room King, which is definitely an option. And I might... Who knows? I might even consider. There you go. I might consider going for Blade, because it, uh, it gives me more damage. In fact, we could even go for the Rage Blade, which is also an option. So we got plenty of options here that we can go for. I don't think I'm gonna go for that. So I, I think instead of going for Hurricanes, it's like we're, we're beating them up so hard. I think we can also just go into this item. There you go. I still got my Biscuits, which I didn't use this game. I usually use all my Biscuits, but this game I don't have to. Let's go, uh... Let's go back to top lane. <clears throat> I 
Wait a second. So I think that Jace is starting to rotate right now, which means hold up. Yeah. The dragon is spawning within like 10 seconds from now. Which is a little bit of a problem for us. Yeah, there you go. We needed that. Okay, let's take this. The Nocturne Ultimate is currently down right now as we speak. So we don't have to worry about Nocturne anymore. <clears throat> Okay, let's go back again. Uh, this time we're gonna go for pickaxe. And let's go again. So uh, now we are going top one more time. I'm gonna try to push out top lane as far as I can. And then we're going to see if I can rotate to to mid lane or bot lane and see if I can get kills there as well. Um, my whole team is currently having a really bad game so far, so if we can farm their shutdowns in some kind of way, we can make a really solid comeback. Now let's, so let's start pushing this really hard. Also, we need to keep Nocturne in mind. They will be I will not go there. I'm not going to go too deep. There's one thing that I'm very lucky at this game. The Nocturne is wasting most of his time on bot lane and not on top lane here. Yeah, I forgot him already. Okay. I wonder if I can turn this entire game by myself, actually. <clears throat> I need to have 200 more and then I can buy my next item. And I also need more, uh, one more jungle camp. Now we can reset. Okay. Now I can go to different lanes and help out my teammates that are losing. They all they are all fed. They are more fed than me. That's something to be aware about. So that echo has the ultimate still. Um, he doesn't have a lot of mana left. Mm, I don't know if I can change it. Yeah. We've got them both, so we got the shutdowns on them. I, we didn't get the echo, which is unfortunate, but... One of their shutdowns, we... We already got them, so... That's going to make a pretty, uh, pretty big difference, for sure. Jace is still top, of course, like he's pushing it out. I'm letting my teammates know that I'm building into Hurricane right now. Which means I'll have some pretty insane wave clear. Um, Hurricane is super OP in terms of wave clear because if the inhibs go down you can just take the whole wave in pretty much instant so letting my teammates know i'm building that so i can take care of the waves by myself i'll uh, pick up the wave here real quick so i can secure that for myself And I think we could probably 
Go bot lane. I, I, the thing is that probably Baron's going to disappear any, mo any moment right now. And we have no vision where they are, so they could be on Baron buff. I don't know where he went, but it seems to be to bot lane actually. So we're gonna push one more wave. I wish I could play a little bit more aggressive, but... We are losing both of the inips actually. I, I was actually, I was already expecting this to happen to be honest. Like uh, 600 more to get Hurricane, then we have to wave clear. So we don't, we can't, we can't do anything yet. If I can get 500 more, Inips won't be that much of a problem. But I'm, I'm, I'm slightly uh, um, scared about the fact that they can just secure Baron right now. That in itself is a very big problem. <clears throat> I think they're going barren right now because there's all two of them move. The dark should we need one more. One more camp is what it takes. No. I'll take this then. Yeah, got it. Okay. I got my hurricane, so now we can play. We're 9 and 0 currently, that's nice. With the way how the game's going, like considering my whole team is all feeding. Look at this dude. Look. An enemy has been slain. So capable of turning things. <coughs> Couldn't do much more. So apparently, like Echo was the bait, and Nocturne resulted. Okay. This might be the game. Uh, this might be the game, actually. Then my teammates can defend this. I need to buy two things now. I need to buy Blade, but a more smart choice would be. Specifically BT, because then I have damage and life steal, and then I also have the shield. <coughs> if I can obtain that, it's going to be much more difficult to beat me. I already have a lot of attack speed from my build. That's why I'm not thinking about Blade right now. There you go, Wave Clear doing a great job. And Echo runs up with a good timing. Yeah, this is where we need life still, man. This is it. The life still will keep this game going. Oh, the timing. I purposely hold my E so I can block the Nocturne W, and as it turns out, he didn't use it. <coughs> yeah, I think the game might be over.
It really came down to like timing my E correctly and like trying to avoid the Nocturne uh, from blocking it, but also getting to me. I've got the wave clear now, but now now I'm pretty much certain they're gonna go for Baron buff. This is I, I wish I killed the Nocturne, man. It would have completely prevented everything. Just the whole thing. Evil lurks around. Yep. They specifically got <coughs> what I was so worried about. Oh, they've got the wave clear for now. But if they come with the Baron buff on top of everything else, it's not. We're, we're pretty much finished. I'm just gonna try and secure one more wave, but there could be a Nocturne ult. Yep, I, uh, I'm just gonna do it. Nice, I managed to get him safely. That's one wave less to worry about, which is good. Okay, I was incredibly lucky. The thing is, I wanted to try and all in even harder. I could have actually had her very easily. It's just that I have no vision where everyone is. So like Nocturne could rise from the jungle, top, bottom, I don't know. And I'd be dead. So I took it very safely, but still wasn't enough. Yeah, no, that was against Vigil Elfer. I was the only guy actually got this game. Either way, this is uh, being top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.